All right, welcome. It is time for some matcha, and we have a very special guest with us today, Pedro Villan. He is the founder of O5T. He probably has the best job in the world. He travels all over the globe to find the most rare, exquisite teas, and he has hooked us up with a very special limited edition matcha, and here to teach us all about this tea and how to make matcha is our friend Pedro. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Good to be here. Good to be here. So tell us, for those who don't know, what is matcha? So matcha, matcha is tea, and, and it's pulverized tea. Matcha, the first character, mo in Chinese, means something like, like smeared or, or you know, stuff that you can, that you can smudge. Um, so it, it's, it's tea that has been micro-milled. Now, what we currently know as matcha, the, the most traditional matcha, um, comes from Japan. It, it's what they use in the Japanese tea ceremony. And it was a later development. It's, it's, not, it's not what uh, the Song Dynasty Chinese used to consume. There are a few differences. Um, decent, you know, the best matcha these days comes from uh, trees that have been shaded. So you have a, a tea plant and you put a canopy on that. There's no light. So the plant gets angry and it makes so much more chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. And when you see this radioactive green color, yeah. that's yeah. because the plant has been, uh, has been shaded. Okay. So, According to our bodies, the growers, that, get, that, that gives you more um, L-theanin, more catechins. It's just a super intense uh, green tea. Now, And you're actually ingesting the leaf itself because right. it's pulverized. This stuff that we're doing, we're, we're, we're ingesting tea leaves. Now, you know, Song Dynasty matcha or whatever those guys consume as powder tea is a completely different thing. It's super cool and we'll talk about it some other day. So sure. we'll, we'll touch China and the Song yeah. and the Tang yeah. Dynasty some other day. Cool. Today we're focusing yeah. on... Uh, what we currently know as, as dope matcha from Japan. Nice. All right. So tell us about this one specifically. Okay, so, so there's a gentleman called Tsuji Kiyoharu. Tsuji, extremely cool human being. Uh, there's one grower in all of Japan that has awards from the emperor, and our friend Tsuji has three. So, so, so he's high up there. You, you check that guy's um, you know, Facebook page, and he's hanging out with the prime minister, and okay. uh, he hangs out with, you know, Important people because his matcha is top shelf. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, however, he's also down to earth, extremely cool human. You just go hang out with that guy and get some drinks, and he'll share all his wealth of knowledge, and he'll treat you like you know, like like an old friend. So, so um, thank you to Tsuji San for for getting us these these beautiful things. And one thing I like about you is you actually know exactly where the tea is coming from. Mm -hmm. It's not just found on Alibaba sent over here, right. like you're going to find these people yeah. and meet them. Absolutely. Yes. This, this, this comes from Uji Shirakawa. Uji is the most traditional place for matcha in Japan. That's, that's where Japanese tea culture started. Um, now, there are some other extremely cool places and, and we'll do some stuff with other places later. But right now we're, we're, we're starting with the most traditional place, um, Uji. And within Uji, a micro region called U, Uji Shirakawa. Uh, Tsuji-san, he doesn't ever use pesticides. This guy is okay, using, nice. which is not exactly common for people who do competition grade matcha. A lot of these people, they just want, you know, results. Mm -hmm. So they'll, they'll do whatever, the, um, whatever is needed. Tsuji-san, no, he does things the, the hard way. Mm -hmm. So um, all his compost is, is organic. Um, it's extremely labor intensive. What we're drinking here, you have to harvest 10 kilograms of, of uh, green leaves to get one kilogram of this stuff. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's insanely labor intensive. This guy is extremely meticulous. And, uh, you know, there's one thing that's important after all of this, because all that's a really cool story. And, and what does it, you know, what do you care about it? Um, it's delicious. That's, that's what really matters. And so, there's health benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, there's, there's, there are a bunch of, of um, health benefits. I am not the most qualified person to talk about them. Because you know, I drink tea because it's delicious. Yeah. Hey, and you it, you're an expert. What about your next one? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it, it works. Yeah, I, I, I drink this sometimes before, um, before working out, before. Uh, now, do you find it energizes you for your day? Like a coffee would or? It's a different thing. So, okay. so, so coffee I, I, Coffee is also great. And, and yes, coffee has caffeine. So coffee does give you some, some energy. This one has caffeine and L-theanine. So the kind of... The, the kind of um, Kickstart that you get from this thing is different. Okay. Um, on one hand, caffeine makes your, your heartbeat goes faster and, and gives you energy. 
it also has L-theanine. L-theanine makes your blood vessels expand. So when your when your vessels expand, your blood pressure is lower. Ah. So you feel grounded yet energized at the same time. Nice. Okay. So you know if, if you're into meditation and all, and, and you know you stick around, maybe you fall sleepy. Um, if you have coffee, you might be a bit jacked right. up. If you drink this stuff, my experience, you feel alert, mm. but grounded. Nice, yeah, not now, jittery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and, and now for, for, for those of you who, who like Buddha, um, if, you, if you find a, a movie called uh, Death of a Tea Master, okay. Okay. it's about Senori Q, the, the guy who created the tea ceremony. Mm. It's really well made. It, it's an old Japanese movie, but okay. it, it's extremely well made. And, and you'll see Hideyoshi. And so, Senori Kyu, the guy who created the ceremony, was a Zen monk at the service of the warlord, like Toyotomi Hideyoshi. And, and there are a few brilliant scenes of these guys just, just you know, getting together, all the samurai, getting some matcha, and then, then you know, going out to battle and wow. pulling out their swords. So watch that movie, you will be drinking some matcha, and you may want to pull out a <laughs> <laughs> a book in and, and go hit something. It's, nice. a, it's a good movie. So walk us through how to make a cup of matcha. Okay, so let's start by, by, by making something, I, I wouldn't say ceremonial, but I would say probably a bit of a more meditative process, okay. which I would recommend if you want to spend 10 minutes of your morning doing it. I, I think it's a really cool practice, just starting your morning by, by doing this. Um, after which we can, we can talk about a, a couple of ways of making matcha in... 60 seconds. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Now, they won't give you the same results, but dude, you can get a really tasty drink in 60 seconds if that's what you want. Or if you guys have uh, 10 minutes, this is what we're going to do. Let's do All it. Right. Nope. So what do we have here? Okay, so start with, um, with the equipment. This guy here, that looks like a brush and you could shave with this guy. Um, that's called a cha sen. Okay. It's, a, it's a tea whisk. Okay. And you can, you can or cannot have a stand. The stand is good because it will uh, prolong the life of your chasen. It's a really nice chasen, so I want it to live a long time. Nice. The other thing that you can do to, to have a longer life for this guy is soak it in um, warm water five to ten minutes before you, you make your matcha. Okay. This is because this is, this is a bamboo. If it gets dry, it gets brittle, and mm. it'll, you know, it'll Wear. not last as, as long. If you do this, you can have a chasen that, that lasts for, for years. Nice. Now, it's already soaked, so let's put it in a nicer stand here. Uh, this guy that I'm going to show you here, this is called a chashaku. It's a spoon uh, or a scoop. Yep. This is not needed. It, it's really cool. So, so the really cool thing about this guy is nine times out of ten, if you use this to measure, you're going to get one gram. So, so it's, a, oh. it's a really cool, quick way to measure your matcha. They are very cheap. So, um, you know, you, you can have one. If you don't, this spoon will work, you know, whatever, a pocket knife will work. You sure. don't need to go too complicated. But if you want to be if you want to be authentic, authentic. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and these guys are what, like $5, so, so, you know, might as well get one. Sure. Yeah. Um, here's a trick. You, this is not always needed, but it's desirable. It's a, it's a sifter. Okay. You can okay. get it in a dollar store. You can get a nice silver one in a tea store, whatever. Right. Uh, sifter. Sifter is important. It has to be dry because otherwise your uh, your matcha will stick. Stick. So that's not it's not a good idea. And last but not least, this guy is called a cha one. Cha means tea. One means bowl. Um, what the uh, the Budo mom did. Budo mama. Here. Budo mama made. <laughs> My mom. Shout out to Eric's yeah. mom. Dude. Shout out to Budo mama. She made us some uh, Budo brothers matcha bowls and, with the wave pattern on it. And they're awesome. So yeah. if you can get hold of uh, of Budo Mama to make another bowl for you. <laughs> They're very exclusive. Yeah. They're very okay. exclusive. Uh, Six thousand dollars a bowl. Six thousand dollars a bowl. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you know, we can always set you up with a with a really nice wood fired bowl. Otherwise, just get a bowl where, where you would make rice or soup, whatever. A yes. uh, couple things that are important. Geometry of the bowl is important. If your bowl is giant and too flat, well, your froth will be thinner mm. and it'll be more difficult to to, to whisk. If it's way too narrow you will have a harder time getting the right speed of your chassis to, to make the froth. Okay. So, I would say, what's that, like 10 centimeters yeah. in diameter, yeah. probably uh, 15 centimeters in, in height. That's a, that's a good place to start. If you have any, any rice bowl or whatever, start there. Otherwise, get any cheap matcha bowl or 
here's my recommendation for, for a really nice cha one, when you find one and you think it's the one, just get it. Keep it. Yeah. 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 And these, these guys are beautiful drinking machines. Mm -hmm. I drink water out of them. Okay. Stick them in the freezer nice. and then put some beer and you know, the, Oh yeah. It, it works for anything. Nice. So, so if you find a, a bowl that you really like to drink out of, get it. Nice. Um, in the meantime, just, just use whatever you can, you can find. Okay, so uh, let's get into the process. Uh, just the cultivars, in case it sounds way too nerdy. Sorry, I get carried away. That's good. <laughs> right? Um, that's your stuff. Yeah. Gorgeous. Great. Sounds, Super green. Yeah. Sounds kind of weird, guys, but when you receive it, and you know, it, it's green powder. So, so uh, just take a sniff. It smells delicious. <laughs> your friends are gonna look. Cooper out. Here, you scoop at that. Oh wow. That is very close to one gram. See, this is this is what we sometimes call lovingly one mountain. If you do this, there'll be one. And here, I'm putting it through the sifter. Now, this is not as important when your matcha is very fresh. Your matcha is very fresh. Um, it's more important when it's been in a, in a can for, let's say, a few months. But what this will do is it will fluff it up. So, see, we're just uh, passing it through the sifter. Mm -hmm. And... Now I'm doing this, it's, it's an abbreviated version. If I were, if I were going really geeky, I would warm up the bowls, I would um, you know, dry the bowls. It, you can get as, as nerdy as you want, right? but if you're yeah. gonna get done in 10 minutes, yeah. this is the way. So, so this is a two gram bowl? Correct, I'm gonna use two grams of tea and I'm gonna use 50 milliliters of water. Okay. So that'll be very close in strength and consistency to an espresso, that, that's what we're doing in this All way. Right. Okay. Uh, some other time we're going to talk about cuicha, which is concentrated tea. We can, for this tea right now, I would suggest, let's go for two grams, okay. which will be two mountains, and about 50 milliliters of water, which will be just short of two ounces. Okay. So, and that's um, one serving. That's one serving. That's, strong that, serving. Be, you know, strong serving. Okay. Yeah, All right. yeah, I, I, I would say like, this is where I would like you guys to get started. And, right. and okay. then we can, we can push you to be, you know, more, more. How many do you drink on it in a regular basis? Two or four? You know, yeah, but I, I just don't do it for for, for getting jacked. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just freaking enjoy the process. Yeah, so so exactly. every now and then when I get a few minutes to chill, mm -hmm. I'll sit down and, you know, again, more disclosure. I could drink this at midnight and go to sleep like a baby. It's just, okay. just not a problem. But mm. yeah. I also don't have too many. I think mm. they're very satisfying. They're delicious. And the way we're going to be making it right now, it takes some time. So. Right. Um, one way to measure your water, I said two grams for 50 milliliters, roughly, which will be, you know, kind of, kind of juicy. If that's too strong for you, add a few drops of water. I'd make, get it to 60 to 70 milliliters if it feels too strong for your taste. Uh, how do you measure your water? If you have any espresso cups in your, in your house, they're usually about an ounce, about okay. 50, um, sorry, about, about uh, 28 milliliters. So how much is in a shot glass? One ounce. One ounce. One ounce. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can use that to measure. If we were doing a traditional uh, tea ceremony, there's a there's a wooden ladle called a hishaku, and that works really well to measure your stuff. We're gonna make the the simpler way. Okay. So get that. Right. Nice. Yeah. Looks good. Uh, looks pretty good. Yeah. And fluffy and all. Mm -hmm. This, the fact that we did this, will prevent clumps. We don't want those, those, yeah, those yeah. clumps. Which, yeah, exactly. If you're meeting your girlfriend after this and you have a chunk of green in your teeth, it's probably not desirable. Right. Um, me, just dispose of this water. Yeah, no worries. used before. But here. Uh, I'm just going to use this to, to measure my 50 milliliters. Oh, Again, you. you can use an espresso cup, you can use whatever. Or a but, lab beaker. Or a lab beaker. <laughs> Use the Buddha bottle. Yes. Wow. Liters. See, like my in, my instinct would be to put more. Yeah. Same. Yeah. No. No. We'll we'll, we'll start with an espresso right. kind of experience. All right. Now, um, here's here's something that's that's um, let's just, just get it to fifty mil. Uh, do, do the fifty milliliter line just to touch more. There it goes. All right. Your water. Okay. Um, water is really important. If your water is too hot, you will burn your matcha. It will not be as good. If water is not hot enough, we're gonna talk about ice matcha later on. So, mm, so okay. it's a completely different drink. It's delicious, but it's a different drink. Cool. Now, right now we're gonna be using water around 80 Celsius. 
this tea from Tsuji, 60, um, 60 Samidori and, and, and 40 Yabukita, okay. I think eight is perfect. All right. There are some other teas where I would recommend 70. There are some teas for which I would recommend 85. For this guy, 80 Celsius is good. All right. If you don't have a thermometer and you think this is way too geeky, 80% of your water should be hot, boiling. 20% of your water should be tap water. You're in business. Okay. So All right. that's, that's how you good, do it. Good hack. Good hack. Uh, now, just here's our thing. We're going to start slow. So okay. first, add a few drops of water. Okay. And we're going to make a paste. So use your, your chasin. Just go around in circles. And see that? Oh, yeah. Wow, it's turning into a paste. It's a paste, and it yeah. looks it looks pretty much like like toothpaste. I don't yeah, know. it's really thick. Yeah, look look at this beauty. To whoa, that's it. Yeah. Now, um, if you're efficient, that's all you need. Okay. You no, know, you're you're that 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 looks like a you, you, you can't see any clumps. You don't right. want any yeah. clumps. That's, no that's clumps. what you want. No clumps. Yeah. Um, now this is not traditional in Weber. Dude, smell this and okay. it's just oh yeah right wow. like that 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 thing's starting to oh I want it now. <laughs> Put in the rest of the water, and, and the tip here is just relax. Okay. Because we tend to be like really tight when we're doing this, and right. if you're tight, you don't get the right speed of your wrist. If you don't get the right speed of your wrist, your, your froth will suck. So just do this, and then relax. And see, there are different schools of, um, of tea. In some, you don't want a big froth. Omote Senke, you don't want rich froth. Uh, Ura Senke prefers, prefers big froth. For the sake of this experience, I'm going to do froth because you know, it just feels really good. Yeah. Nice. Um, you don't want big bubbles. So first you touch the bottom of the, of the bowl and you create the froth. And then you go to the top and you just kill all the big bubbles. Oh. And you have this beautiful uh, you know, carpet of... Uh, and it is nice and quick. Yeah, you don't need a lot. I messed up. I left a little bit of matcha here. But anyway, um, that works, man. So... In a traditional tea ceremony, uh, some person is the host, and you have two guests, mm -hmm. and uh, the host makes tea for the guests, and that would usually be koicha, but um, you know you have to connect with your guests. It's, it's, it's like 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 budo, and you have a tori and an uke. Okay. Same thing. So in this case, I am the tori. You guys are the uke. Perfect. And uh, I would like you to drink some, please. Thank you. Then pass it out to guest number two. Awesome. And we'll go from there, guys. Wow, smooth, really smooth. All right, let's try it. Very <laughs> flavorful. Mm. Usually, you, you you finish your like this tea. You can finish in oh, probably two to three wow. sips. Right, but uh, that's thick too. Yeah, it's very, oh, yeah. it's like a it's and like a latte. When I baked it before, yeah. it was way too watery. Like this yeah. is really good. That's what I meant in the in the, in the previous picture. Wow, you know when, when you mm. sent me the previous picture and mm. it was it, it was it was much lighter. And very, very smooth. Kill, brother. Yeah, sure. Very smooth, but also very, uh, like, you, you, very uh, robust tea profile flavor. Totally, like umami. man. Umami. Is that what it is? It, it, it definitely has a shitload of umami. Cool. And you get a matcha mustache now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> matcha man ran a savage over there. It's called, it's called a Japanese dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's great. Exactly. Now, um, yeah, of course you can you, you can go a bit lighter, and you can go you can go more concentrated. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this is a good it was, place to start. It wasn't you know, too like, strong. It no. wasn't too strong, but it was nice and thick too, well, which I really like. Here's what's really cool about Suji's matcha: the aftertaste is just just creamy and smooth. Mm -hmm. And and here, look look at the bottom of this guy. Like there's there's no clumps left. There's no, no residue. Yeah. Nothing, man. Yeah. Here, oh, I'm gonna polish this off, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I, I think though, if you have a mustache, be careful. It will give you a matcha stash. You come out of you know your 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 meditation with a green mustache. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but if you're on a date with uh, with, uh, with somebody, and you don't want to be the Hulk. No. <laughs> <laughs> or or you do. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I, I, that's I, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Depends on what you're into, man. So that would be considered the 
proper way where we're not rushed we're taking our time we're, yeah you know that's you know it's kind of a meditative practice it is meditative this if you do this in the morning it'll take you 10 15 minutes most of us have mm -hmm. 10 15 minutes too and what better way to center yourself in the craziness of the world to than just sit down and count your blessings over a cup of tea i, I, I think it's you know i usually wake up i, I drink a liter, then a liter and a half of, of water just to like, yeah. flush the system. Yeah. After which, um, get the kettle boiling and do one of these. And then, you know, the day's easy. You know, nice. Just, just just leave the cell phone and everything else. Yeah. And, uh, this is done and... Then go nice. out. Go into battle. Things feel easier after That's after really that. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So, so you know, going back to Senori Q and, and, and those guys, um, you, you see all the samurai drinking tea with Senori Q and they say, dude, now, now I can die. I'm, Ready, ready. I, 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 <laughs> ready for battle. I drank this tea, like, screw it, I'm out. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, and it does feel like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's just a nice experience in the morning. Yeah. We're going to talk about other ways of doing it okay. quicker, or if you're camping, or, yeah. you know, matcha cowboy style, which is also good. It doesn't have the same result, it doesn't have the same froth consistency, but we can make a really nice drink that will give you some power throughout the day if, nice. if, that's, what you're, if that's what you want. Perfect. Cool. Well, let's get into it. Awesome. So, number two is matcha cowboy style. Cowboy style, cowboy yeah. matcha. Cowboy matcha. All right. So yeah. let's say that you're um, that you don't have a chassis. Yeah. The, the but dude, you have this. Sure. Or or you have a mug, a, a, a water bottle. Yeah. Mason jar. Sure. Okay. So so if you really want to, everybody's got a mason jar. Right. Now mason jar and hot water, it might burn your hand. So you get a a budo tenugui. And, okay. and then you can hold a hot mason jar and you're in business. Nice. And in this case, we're going to make a, a slightly, slightly um, larger drink. We're going to go for 75 milliliters. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to just put this water over here All so right. that we can use our, oh, yeah. our water bottle. Right. <laughs> okay, so uh, cowboy matcha level one. Water bottle here. We're gonna make uh, two scoops. Nice. That's one gram or one. Oh, right into the bottle. Okay. Just like right in the bottle now. All right. Number two. Goes in here. Um, 75 milliliters, you know, yep. just over, over three ounces. Here it goes. This guy. Mm. Shake like there's no tomorrow. Martini style. <laughs> Martini style. <laughs> Again, you know, uh, Buddha bottle, mason jar. Yeah, yeah, anything. That's all you need, man. Yeah. But you got to give it a pretty good shake. You got to give it a really good shake. What, like 30 seconds? Mumble number one. Whoa, no chunks. Man. I was expecting Mumble some. Mumble number two. Yeah, brother. How, how about that? You guys are gonna be kind of wired after this. We're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna be on fire after. Right. But, but look, look at the froth. I, yeah, I that's mean, impressive. It's yeah. it, it works. Yeah. It's Get not the same consistency, yeah. but give it a you get a nice green drink. And that's gonna be closer to what you usually drink, which is a bit lighter. It's really creamy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's smooth and I don't know how to really describe it. I don't know if my palate is sophisticated enough, but what I get is creamy, frothy, green tea dessert. There's one thing that matters. Does it make you happy or does it not? I, and, I, I am happy. <laughs> Suji-san Su Su fire, dude. Like, what he does with the consistency of the matcha, I don't know how he does it. Mm. It's so smooth. But yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. But you know, have you ever... Like I've I've had uh, Japanese green tea uh, pastries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it feels like it's kind of a, a, a paint like a a dessert almost. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, the word that comes to mind when I drink it is calming. It feels very like calm. it's grounding, man. Exactly. So so you're you're drinking a crap load of caffeine. Right. However, it also feels grounding at the yeah. same time. It feels like you're alert awareness. Yeah. Maybe. That's a great way to do it. Yeah. For those that are on the go and you know you're you gotta get out the door but you don't wanna not have your matcha, just totally. out the door uh, away you go. Budo hack number three. Okay. You can do it same thing, exactly what we did on ice water. Okay. Oh, okay. And if you want something that's a bit more hydrating, yeah. then, you, then you do a couple of grams, but you do eight ounces. So you do two hundred and forty milliliters. Oh okay. With crushed ice. 
I see. And that's sort shake. of a pre-workout. And it's a completely different drink. Yeah, well, th- then you actually hydrate. You know, you, you yeah. get an eight-ounce drink. Like you're, you're drinking some water. Right. Uh, so it's way more diluted. It's a completely different drink because because the water, you 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 are cooking the leaves as you are adding hot water. Mm-hmm. So you do it on, on on ice water. You serve it in whatever. Drink it straight from the bottle. It's phenomenal. Really. Completely different drink. And different flavor profile or just totally different. Flavor. I just like wow. it, it, you would not recognize it as the same tea. Hmm. Interesting. Now for a person who's never drank tea before, because I've actually ran into a few people that have like never even ventured into the world of tea yet what would you say like start off with more water start off with the 50 start off with the cowboy style start off with you know it really depends on what they drink so so if i'm talking to a really hardcore espresso drinker i would make a certain recommendation Mm -hmm. if i if i talk to somebody who drinks coca-cola i probably start with a different place so usually when you come to our tea bar my first question is what do you like and and i'm gonna ask what do you like in terms of beer in terms of coffee in terms of Mm -hmm. And then we can tailor the right, uh, you know, the right answer for you. Mm-hmm. So, so if you want to know about a starting point, shoot these guys a, an, an email or, mm-hmm. or a, yes. you know, yep. Instagram message, whatever, and uh, we'll talk about it and we'll get you the right recommendation. Because there's, there's not a single starting point. It really depends on, on who you are. Yes. And then I'll make a, a smarter recommendation. Otherwise, sure. it would be a stupid recommendation. Okay. okay. Great. And for those who want to get into different types of tea, how can they find O5? Yeah. Oh, um, so should they want to get into the into that that rabbit hole, uh, o5t.com, letter O, um, not number zero, so letter O, number five, tea.com, or uh, you can find us on um, on Instagram, again, o5t or Facebook or. Okay. Well, we're whatever. getting a really excited to launch this, and just to be clear. It's small batch, and when we say small batch, there's only a hundred of these, and when they're gone, they're gone. This was specifically made for us, and we're so honored that you yes. helped hook us up because uh, right. you know that's really what we're about. We're about high quality, low quantity, small batch, the best in business. So Absolutely. Thank you, thank you for hooking yeah. us up, My and thank you for teaching us. And we can't wait to expand our tea journey. Yes, we really want to get into health and well-being and the way of the warrior and tea is one of those things that brings people together, connects people. It and does. We are so excited to be working with you on our, Thanks, our tea collaboration. Yes, Anytime, our tea man. sensei. Yes, tea Thank sensei. Thank you, tea <laughs> sensei. <laughs> <laughs> All right, catch you guys later. Take it easy.